Hey guys, so figured I'd do a how to Spider Queen. Um, it's a day late, sorry about that, but first time I got the chance to do a video. Um, so I'm going to start with this kind of form, the hybrid form, where you're, you know, this is the this is the form that so much it can go wrong that, you know, if you don't have time for this shit, um, don't don't do this shit. There's so much shit that can go wrong that, you know, it's pretty insane. But the idea is to get gin. Obviously, um, all these forms are going to involve gin. Gin's the best hero for all um, the on hunting bosses. But this form's all about trying to keep gin trapped on the left side here. And, um, you know, using the necromancers to um, attract the um, her spit on this side. So I'll see if I can get this to work, who knows. Um, so when when you're running the hybrid form, what you want to do, turn the auto off. You turn it on at 452. So exactly 452, turn the auto on. And that should hopefully get Jin uh, moving to the left and around the Shadow Ninjas. Then it's about uh, whether Jin stays there or not whether the spit um, takes out a lot of your troops or not and you kind of want her to only hit your necromancers that's all you want her to hit and you want Jin to stay on the other side of the necromancers now all kinds of shit can go wrong um, if she takes out a necromancer with her spit you're all of a sudden going to have 8 less skeletons than you would have you know, if she takes out too many tower switches, because the necromancers push, push the tower switches for further forward. If you lose some necromancers, um, yeah. Same thing with Jin. Um, if any of the shadow ninjas start um, dying, you know he'll he'll sneak through them. There is so much shit that can go wrong that. You know, sometimes it's not even worth running this shit. I don't bother with it usually. I figured I'd show you that. If too many of the little spiders eat your um, necromancers before she does her spit, um, she'll end up bombing Jin's side. And that seems to happen a lot around the 30 second mark and around the 1 minute mark. Um, because, you know, they like you to waste all your fucking time. Alright, so we're coming up to the 30 second mark. Oh, she hasn't spit on Jin yet. That's good. And, uh, 39 million. Show you the damage report there. Obviously you can't keep everything alive, all the melee, um, but uh, yeah, most of your damage is going to get done by the Shadow Ninjas and any troops that manage to survive on uh, Jin's side. I've started using a couple of um, Flash Angels because they seem to um, sit on Jin's side, but if you use too many they kill the little spiders too quick. And I'll show you what I mean by that now. What happens here is Jin's active. After he does his active, he'll retarget. Now if there's little spiders there, after he's done his active, um, he'll he'll walk towards them to go attack them. And that's what you need to get him to go left. So that's why um you hold the auto till 452. Oh shit, I missed it. Um, you hold the auto to 4.52 and at times, shit. So you hold the auto to 4.52. And 
then he does then the second auto he does should um, happen when this little spot is appear and then he'll walk towards it um, didn't make it there you've got one more chance you have one more chance here if he doesn't get on the side after the second chance then you may as well quit out of it he's on that side but um yeah we've lost too many shadow ninjas so he's just going to walk right back through and what happens is that Taurus switches will automatically target little spiders so if you use too many Taurus switches um, you'll kill the little spiders too quick where he won't even get on that side regardless oh shit I fucking missed it again regardless of um, when you time the active So you see he made it there but the little spider just died too quick because it's just getting killed instantly by the um, the Taurus witches and you've got no chance now so I'll show you what happens if you don't use any Taurus witches Four fifty-two. So now there's no Taurus switches to target the little spiders. And uh, Jin's gone over there already because um they just aren't getting killed at all. But you do need Taurus Witches in your form because without the Taurus Witches the little spiders will just um, run right and take out all the other troops. And then it's about playing with how many Taurus Witches you can get away with. Um, I think I could get away with maybe, I think it was 6 or 7 really to um, reliably kind of get them to go. You've got two chances basically after the second second chance if he doesn't make it over there he's never gonna get there and yeah so that first time I did it was basically all I could get away with Taurus Switcher wise and yeah I really don't like running this form um, it's a fucking real time waster um, so I'll show you what else you can do if you've got the um, so this is all about the necromancers, um, the spider queen. I'm absolutely not going over the harbinger form um, because you need at least, you know, 10 to 20 level 10 harbingers. And I would never advocate for anyone wasting their medals on that shit. Um, so this form, 7, what is it, um, 14 necromancers. They don't have to be high level. Uh, they can be level 4 and above. So level 4 necromancers will produce the same number of um, skeletons that uh, a level 10 will produce. A level 3 won't, but a level 4 and above will produce. And if you've got 14 producing 8 skeletons each, um, then you've got enough to... Um, keep the spider queen hitting your skeletons instead of the rest of your troops for this form you want to put as many tar switches as you have in your form um, then you use one goblet tech in the middle here you must surround the goblet tech with um, peltas because it's the peltas that make this goblet tech um, make his cannons all weird all over the place And she'll hit your ranged once, she'll hit it again. 
Um, she shouldn't kill any of your ranged um, with her first two spits, but her third spit will kill your ranged. But the third spit should go on the necromancers, and then um, the rest of the spits should all just go on the necromancers. And uh, those cannons there will hold Jin in place if they've been set up in a way that um, will stop him going around. And you won't score as high with this form as you will with the hybrid form, but this will be a lot less, less of a hassle. I'll just quit out of this, I'll show you some other things. So if you don't put enough um, peltis in your form, so you put in more ranged, what's going to happen is that, um, what's his name? He's just going to make a straight line of cannons. And um, it's not going to do anything. Jin's never going to get held by that. So it's the Peltus that push this cannon maker um, around. So you always want to make sure you have um, Peltus in front of him. And what you can do is if you're struggling to get a good cannon maker with one. Um, you can use two. And, um, but still make sure there's peltis in front of them because it's the peltis that make them make them do um, cannons weird all over the place. Obviously, um, Jin's never going to get through this. Never in a million years is going to get through that. So you wouldn't have to worry about it so much. Now you just need to worry that the little spiders don't kill all your necromancers. As long as you've got enough Taurus Witches, um, they can kill the Necromancers off. I mean, the little spiders off enough. It may be a case where you need to put in more Necromancers in your form to get away with it. But you basically need to test and you need to make sure she's only spitting on the Necromancers. That's from her third spit onwards. The first two spits will hit whatever and they won't actually kill anything. And yeah, that's how you would battle the spider. I guess I'll jump to my ult, see what I can do. I don't have a lot of troops on that, so we'll see what we can do. Oh, I'll quit out of this. Alright, so here's my ult. Um, truth be told, I've just been running this with my um, clan hunting form. You'll get your 4 million or whatever, and you won't have to worry so much about shit. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to go to your necromancer to see how many you have. I've got a nine, two nines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm a bit short on necromancers. I've only got the. What do we have here? We've got. 10. We'll see what we can get away with 10. Obviously we're not going to get the um, hybrid form working too well. Um, so we're just going to go with um, the TT form. Then you'll get your tire switches. Put those near the back. Um... I've got, then you just choose what range do you have. Look at that. That's pretty much all I've got. I've got one more. Don't have any nines. Um, no. I have some eights. Try to put these more middle so Jin boosts them. Put your highest ones towards the middle. Just to get uh, the Jin boost going. I think I have some eights. Torah switches. Yes, I do. Put those in. We'll 
we'll put our GT in. I have five pel uh, ten pelters. Um, so this block is looking a bit too big, so we will get our big ones here, here. So what you can do is because you don't want a big block if you don't have enough necromancers you may have to put in some single loads uh, we'll put in some priest mages see how many we can put in make sure all our tens are in the middle sort of See if it works. So because I don't have a lot of pelters, it's going to be hard to get the cannons to form um, in a good way that Jin will get trapped. First two spits will hit the ranged. Third spit, where does it go? In the ranged. Too many ranged. Um... 10 necromancers is not ideal so we'll probably drop our level 8 what you can do is chuck in melee if you don't have enough other stuff swordsmen are particularly useful I guess We'll try that now. First spit hits the range, second spit should hit the range too. When does the third spit go? The ranged. Alright, so we're going to drop our level 8s now. just add some more single loads um, yeah I'm pretty troop limited here and yeah, where does the third one go Still hits the ranged. All right. Get rid of that one and that one now. Um. Still hitting the ranged. Fucking hell. So 10 necromancers is not ideal at all. Guess we can try to move them out more. Um, 
you basically have to kind of practice you know figure out what you can get away with and what you can't it's only with 10 necromancers we're kind of struggling here where are you gonna go still hits the ranged Um, let's keep dropping the nine loads till we till we get it to work. And that's not a good fucking um cannon setup. Finally, so it's trial and error, guys. Um, depending on um, you know how many necromancers you have at your disposal. Rather than a single load range, you can also add more melee troops. But um, you just have to be aware of if you you need to wait till all those melee troops are dead to make sure that um, she won't end up spitting on your ranged. But she should not hit it your ranged at all um, if you've got it all set up like this. I'll pause it. Alright. 23.8 million is the report. Um, sweep that. Um, I'll just do one more. 23.8. I'm going to run this with my clan hunting form to show you another way, an easier way to do it. Just Run it with your clan hunting form. We'll see how close it gets to that 23 million. So we're going to be quite a bit down from that. But still um, a lot quicker, a lot less hassle. That's the various ways to fight the Spider Queen. Where did my thing go? Where did it go? There it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching.